fantastic. <laughs> hey, we're live. Hi. Hi. I'm Pam Mulholland, Transaction Coordinator. I'm Brie Hunter, uh, owner of BH Photography. And we are doing Winging It Weekly. Oh, it's Friday. I have wax in my hair. Is it gone? <laughs> Almost. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm visible on the camera. And for the record, that's hair wax, not hair wax. <laughs> oh, thank you for clarifying. You're so welcome. Oh my gosh, what a week it has been. What about you? Anything interesting happened today? Oh, we're at my house, by the way, because it's raining outside. Yeah. yeah. So anything interesting happened to you this interesting. week? Interesting. Hmm. Everything. Everything has happened this week. It's been a really challenging it's week. It's been a pretty loaded one. What happened? Well, for starters, everyone thinks the sky is falling. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It looks like today. It really is. is. <laughs> no, yeah. outside of that, just normal, normal mom stuff. But, you know, sometimes it gets to a point where it adds up. This week definitely added up. I like how we're both sitting on our feet. We're both sitting on our feet today. <laughs> and I have my Christmas socks on. <laughs> to go take those off because I walked outside in them earlier. <laughs> so we'll do that. Um... So I had uh, my anxiety this week, diagnosed oh, with it. severe anxiety, courtesy of Dr. Derek. Aww. So yeah, that's I've been, that. that's, yeah, he walked as in and goes. As if that's not going to add to your anxiety. <laughs> as if that's not going to add. And he walks in and he goes, you know, you have severe anxiety because you really need to slow it down. It's like, really? <laughs> I didn't well, know that. I didn't know, like, as many people were on blood pressure medicine, but this last week, I like, you have high blood pressure, Antonio has high blood pressure, and it's, like, really high. It's Kim, real. Your son has high blood pressure. I'm like, geez. It's nice Sorry, to know Kim, I'm not Kim, alone, but it's the same thing. You like, too? Oh, yeah. I've been on medication for it, and I think it's the wrong kind, because number-wise, it's gone up, and my anxiety has also gone up, so... But they don't want to switch it to what I know works until after my surgery. So it's uh, done. Yeah, it's frustrating because right now as I'm sitting here, I can feel my heart pound. I can count my, I can feel my heartbeat in my neck right now. I literally can. <laughs> and they say just slow down, relax, if one take more a break. Person, see if anyone else says to me, you need to, you need to slow down, Pam. You need to lighten your schedule. I, I am time. going to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. Well, I don't know what you do because I want to watch. It's like people say, you know, you, you just need to look at the crops there for my kids and chips yeah, last yeah. night. You don't want to see my house right now. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it's the worst thing you can do to people. My hair is a bit of a mess. Here. The it's worst funny. thing you can do to people who are stressing out it's or telling have them anxiety to is say, you need to slow down. It's like, the, I mean, I don't no. know if anyone else has heard this, but men, when you're in an argument with a woman, right? Do you tell her to calm down? Probably not. <laughs> Jeff, you do. Jeff, not a Renee. Hey, Renee. <laughs> it's a bad idea. You don't Pain want to tell neck. someone Thanks to calm down when they're already stressed out or... You need to chill. High levels of yeah. anxiety. No. Do something that's going to help them calm down, but don't tell them to. Yeah, it's like say, hey, Pam or Bree, <laughs> do you have any free time this weekend? Well, I can carve some out. Why don't you come axe throwing with me? Can we do that this weekend? Can we do that? Like, literally? Are you can we do it tonight? Or? Do you have kids tonight? That conversation went like this. Uh, I have Oliver tonight. We can take him. We can strap him to your back. <laughs> we throw oh, I don't even. I, honestly, I might kill myself with one of those things. I want to go. Because uh, oh, axe throwing to me is like, who do you visualize on the target? Oh, wow. I was just, we don't need to mention names. But. I just wanted to get energy out. But no, there's a couple oh. people I, I could visualize, and it would probably help me treat them a little nicer. Well, when I used to do Taekwondo, my master used to say to me, I'm not mentioning any names, but he had one, one person in specific right after my divorce, that he said, uh, just visualize them on this, you know, the paddles, the kick pads, and he goes, just visualize and just take it out. Yeah. Well, that's I just what they took did. it out. Like kickboxing too, it was like, right? imagine the person that is stressing you out the most. Yeah. And it helps. And it it gives you that extra boost of, mm. It does. It does. I would love to know. I'm sorry, I'm getting up close to the camera. Renee are throwing with Pam. Axe throwing with Pam on Friday the 13th. Oh, man. Was today the 13th? Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Great, Renee. Come down here and we can all go axe throwing. Renee's one of my best clients. We can all go axe throwing together. Yeah. No, I really Honestly, want to. Let's plan it. I can't do it tonight, but maybe tomorrow night. We'll figure it out. 
I want to go and let some steam off. Does anyone want to go axe stone with this? We're going to go tomorrow night. Set it in stone. Anyone? Anyone want to go? We'll take that as a yes. We'll take that as a... <laughs> hey, Craig. We'll take that as a... I can't see the comments. That's the problem. I need to have a set of binoculars. Do you have glasses? I can't see that far with glasses. I need to have my iPad right here. Oh, where is it? In my bedroom. No so one. what happened to you this week, Pam? Besides finding out you have very high anxiety. Apart from the anxiety, <clears throat> it was Libby's birthday yesterday. So I took her out for, with Kane and Libby, my other two, I took her out for dinner last night to Pechanga Casino because mm -hmm. I believe in indoctrinating them early into gambling. Mm -hmm. And we went to Bamboo, which is super, super nice. Renee has a listing appointment tonight. Good oh, job. awesome. Good job, Renee. <laughs> Good job. Oh, sorry about your Way to go. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> get me the just get me the contract tomorrow and I'll start on disclosures. <laughs> um, and so I went with Kane who doesn't know how to sit still. So that and this is not a sit down help. restaurant. This is a sit down <laughs> restaurant. So my I hate to say anxiety because that kind of like stereotypes it right. But honestly, seriously, but my anxiety yes last night at dinner was Kane was up and down, up and down, and he just stands at the table. He doesn't walk around. Yeah. He just stands, takes a bite, stands, sits down, and then when he's not standing up, he Sounds tilts like the chair oh, back and bounces oh. on the back of the chair like this here. And then he moved it so it was against a pillar, mm -hmm. and he could lie back and dangle his feet. And as long as he did, oh god, I was willing it. Yeah. I was, and then his, um, he was telling me that a friend in class yesterday, the teacher said to him, put all four feet. Or all four <laughs> legs on the floor. The kid with this friend's yeah, yeah. friend was doing this. So the kid, being the smart little brats that they are, put his two feet on the ground. Oh, so it was two legs and two feet. So he had all four legs on the ground. <sighs> Kids. That's like something Kane would do. But um, but you know what? Apart from the anxiety which carried me through from Monday to today, um, it wasn't so bad. It wasn't such a bad week, except for the coronavirus. Let's talk about What's that? that. Right? <laughs> right. I don't know about you, but I am so overhearing it. And Renee called me yesterday morning and gave me the doom and gloom about interest rates and the way the market's going. He says, tighten down your hatchets financially. <laughs> yeah, I've had a few people call me. How are you doing? Are you surviving? Yeah, nothing has changed yet. Nothing has changed yet. <laughs> but um, it's going to. But the coronavirus, so... I never thought how hard it would be to get toilet paper. <laughs> Do you need a roll? I should have brought some. I don't. I bought 32 rolls of bamboo toilet paper. Mm. Is it like expensive stuff? Or is that $40 Sounds for 32 expensive. rolls. No, it was $40 for 32 rolls. It was the only thing available on Amazon was bamboo toilet paper. Is it made out of bamboo? It's made out of bamboo. It's 100% organic, all Chew. the above, dye free. Huh? Healthier Pam. I wasn't the your down choice. toilet paper. It was yeah. only because I couldn't. I could. Oh, she just left me. She, Bye. It was only because I couldn't get anything else. There was no Colton Northern or whatever all the other brands are. I couldn't get any toilet paper. So. I love how that's the first one you think of. What? Colton Northern. The first one I would think of would be like Cottonelle. Oh, yeah. It's, well, I'm sorry. I'm interested in marketing a lot. And then Colton Northern. I don't know, isn't that? Is it? Is it now? I feel like no. it's more. It sounds more Irish. No, Colton Northern, yeah, Northern Ireland. <laughs> no, it's not. We have Kleenex toilet paper, oh. and Andrex. Andrex is another one. It sounds like a cleaning product. Product. No, no, no. In Ireland, oh. we have Andrex and Kleenex toilet paper. Right, guys. If anybody from Ireland is watching, hi Tyler. Um, oh, Tyler Nelson from our podcast. Oh, hi Tyler. Hey Tyler. I hope you're better now. I hope you're better. You can get that podcast back on the right day. <laughs> Not your fault. I blame Antonio for switching it. Um, yeah, so now everyone's going, you're not going to fly to Ireland, are you, in the summer? Of course you are. Right? It's a long ways away. It's four months. I mean, they shut it Could down. Five. You won't have a choice, but... Yeah, well, you might even want to try returning your tickets and buying them again. You get them. Have we booked them yet? Go oh, perfect. Quarter of the price. They are. They're down from twelve hundred dollars. That as of yesterday, we're at five fifty. Yesterday, we actually yeah. considered buying oh. tickets. Oh, we did, didn't I we? Did and then I was like, no, I can't do it. 
but we considered buying tickets to New York and just going for the day. Why not? That's right, because tickets are only, what, $8 a piece or something, someone said? It's cheaper than driving, you know, right. anywhere. Yeah, so we had considered flying to New York. That's such a stupid idea. <laughs> it would have been a great idea, it though. It would be. You know Why what? not? We could have gotten on a flight at 4 o'clock. When's the next time in our life that we're going to be able to just... Go fly to New York. Well, not right? for $8. Not for $8. No chance for $8. I feel like I'm so hunched over. I'm so tired today. I'm so, so tired. Sit up straight. So, yeah, we'd love to. <laughs> hey, Jason. It was good to see you. Oh, yeah. Last... Hey, Christina. Um, hi, Wendy. Wendy McGowan is online. Hey, Wendy. I'm I so sorry that I'm leaning hi. in for the camera. I just can't see that far. <laughs> so, I can't. So, I'm busy. Oh, hold on a second. I'm going to see who else is on here. Tyler's on there. Hey, Peter. Renee, are you still there? Zan out. Oh, can you scroll through my? <laughs> See what Renee oh, said. Days. Zan out. <laughs> Zan out. Oh yeah. Don't you? Hey, Courtney. Courtney. There you go. Let me know when you're done. Let me know when I can stop. <laughs> hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Hi, <laughs> Sean. Hi, Scott. <laughs> Sergio, oh, oh my goodness, Jeff so and Ro Oh, I'm no, so no, no, glad no. you guys hopped on to see us. Oh, oh I have something funny to tell you. Do share. I'll share. I will. I always do. So last week, I went on a, a daddy daughter date night. To, to say date night. You went on a daddy daughter date night. Daddy daughter, and it's been a oh, while. Oh, with your dad. Okay. Well, yeah, but who's daddy? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, you know, like, never mind. Oh boy. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I meant with my <laughs> actual father. That's right. But it's been a while between both of our lives, so we don't really have that much time. So, I had a free night, he had a free Aww. night, and we went to dinner. And it was nice. so nice. This is going to possibly sound bad. Should I? I should. So, there's this girl at the restaurant that I go to. If, if someone asks me on a date... She asked is, you on a date? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's the cutest. So if someone asks me on a date and they say, hey, where do you want to go? I always choose the same restaurant because it's my favorite restaurant. So this one oh, server has seen me come on multiple dates there, right? <laughs> oh dear, with multiple men? Well, so but it, <laughs> it a lot. <laughs> like realistically, it doesn't go past the first date. I've never brought someone back on a second date. And so she Harsh. goes, oh, I well, I know. So she said, hey, you know, it's, it's good to see you. And I was like, yeah, this is my dad. She's like, oh, a, a date night with your dad, huh? And I was like, yeah, he's probably the best date I've had, you know, here. And I'm like, I'll probably bring him back. Then we're sitting there enjoying our dinner. And mm. this guy who works there, first of all, awkward moment, a guy that I had gone on a date there is sitting two tables over. And I'm like, oh. Was another woman? Oh, no, he was in a group of guys, but oh. we haven't talked, so it was kind of awkward. Anyways, that's not what I was going to say. Focus. That's not what I was going to say. No, so this guy comes walking, one of the surfers, and I've talked to him like in passing. I think he's also just like bartending there. And he goes, hey, so you guys just winging it tonight? Oh. And I looked at my dad, and I'm like, is he talking to you? Is he talking to them? Oh. What? And, and then he said it again. He goes, you're winging it, right? And he, then I noticed he's looking at me. And I was like, oh my God. Oh, <laughs> this? Really? Yeah. And he's awesome. like, I love watching you guys. He's like, you're hilarious. So, he's like, you should oh, know. At least so one cool. person thinks we're kind of funny. What's his name? Are you on here? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, we are friends, but I can't remember his name. No, I'm not this person. Oh, wait, wait, maybe you should go on a date with him. What? No, he's married and I'm, oh, I'm looking. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. You're dating. I forgot. Uh, <laughs> You're dating well. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward moment. <laughs> You're full of it. That's one of those moments where I go, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I have. I've been seeing someone. How's that going? It's going well. It's, it's, it's going well. I'm just going to stick with that. It's the first time in oh. a long time that I have met someone who is respectful of my time and me. And well, he's busy too, right? Mm -hmm. He's super busy and he's a dad, right? Mm -hmm. So we've got a lot of similarities <clears throat> and he's very understanding to my situation and I'm understanding his sense for working And he out. likes your friend's sense of humor. Oh, uh, yeah. Right? <laughs> Who wouldn't? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, 
Actually, I was okay. talking about me. Enough about me. <laughs> <laughs> I said he likes your friends. Oh, oh. <laughs> Poor thing. Yeah, he never knows what he's going to hear. <laughs> I know, yeah. When I first met him, we were out having dinner and some adult beverages with some friends, right? When we first were introduced to him. And uh, he was indoctrinated into our house of sin of all of us together as a group. Yeah, that was wild. But you know what? Yeah. He stuck around. That's he surprising. really stuck around. I don't know. Okay, okay. enough about, about me, Tam. What's about you? going on with you? I heard last week that you... Wait, I don't know if I can get this right or not. But I think you got your hair and your nails done. Is that true? Did I tell you about that? Yeah. I, yeah. Did I? Yeah, you told everyone like five times. I got my hair and nails done. You did. It looks I got my great. <laughs> Look at those. I, I got know. my nails. They're short though, but I like them shorter. I didn't even notice them yeah. until you took a picture the other day. I was like, oh, those look good. Okay. They're just little short nails. Anyways, that is Yeah, like, I got my hair done. You look very nice. It's getting shorter. You had a you date day, huh? I did have it. I went for cocktails and hair and lunch and nails and errands. It was pretty awesome. Good. You deserve that. Finally taking time to yourself? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do it again. Well, I'm not really gonna do it again this weekend, to be honest with you. I have a lot of work to do this weekend. Well, that's okay. A lot of work. I'm yeah. glad that you started reading that book that I recommended, because not many other people did. Oh, I really genuinely did, I, I did. So we started reading in our mastermind group, um, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Yep, which was <laughs> forgotten now. <laughs> <laughs> start as, end as you, start as you, no. Plan for the end and start now. I can't even it's remember the like If Antonio's on here, he'll remember. <laughs> and, um, there were, well, I think that we started at different places because I was on the Audible. Oh, that's right. You got a lot further I, than I did. I don't know, but what I took out of it, like, what I felt like it started at was the difference between independent, dependent, and interdependent, and how the society kind of encourages independent. What's interdependent? I've never heard Inter that term before. So interdependent is being um, dependent as a group. Depending kind of upon like, each other? Kind of like our group. Right. Oh, okay. Just being able to work together to get, you know, we all have the same goal in mind. So teamwork. Right, basically. But a lot of people are encouraged, and this is the way, honestly, mm. I've run most of my business, and I'm just, over the last year, I've been making a change, is you can't do everything yourself. No, you can't. And I am so I've work hired personal. photographers, I've hired an editor, I've hired an assistant, because you need that. And bringing you guys, even though we don't work together, work together. We support we each other. Together. And we come up with ideas and we're, we're there for each other, whether it's personal or sometimes. And we're just hanging out on us time versus or work time. We're doing this. Or doing this or doing our podcast that we do with Antonio or Mastermind Group. Mastermind Group. We should all just get a commune and move in together. It would be cheaper. That would be really <laughs> dangerous. That would be really <laughs> dangerous. Really, really dangerous. Someone would be making their own Everclear and... <laughs> What's Everclear? Maybe me. It's alcohol. Oh. I think it's similar to moonshine. Correct me if I'm wrong. Can you make it from grass? Bet you would Probably could. Probably not. Bet, bet you would could. Okay. Bet you would uh, You could ferment work. anything. <laughs> My temper. I don't know if it'll... <laughs> My <be>. anxiety. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to taste good. Well, we can try it. I don't care if it tastes bad. Um, so... One of the other books that I, has anyone ever re read um, Eat the Biggest Frog first or Eat the Biggest, yeah, Eat the Biggest Frog first or whatever it's called. No, what is this? It's for procrastination basically. Mm. And it's I'm not you, guilty of that. If you have, it, <laughs> yeah, I'm number one trade here for me. If you have a list of say 10 items that you need to do for the day, you look through that list and you say, which is the worst one that I'm dreading the most? Oh. And you tackle that Get one first. Done. And then That's the rest good. of your day from there is plain easier. sailing. It's, yeah, it's easier to, to deal with because you tackle the gnarliest thing, yeah, whether right? it's work, personal, conversations with someone you need to have. Just get it out of the way because it festers throughout the day. Yeah. When you have that big item to do at the end of the day, you're going, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I don't want to deal with it. I have to And then you just everything. spent your whole day stressing about it. Anxiety. That's, oh, it's not work for me. I think it's mostly my home. Having a clean house, which is hard when you have three kids that are little tornadoes just going behind you and making a mess. Spilling cereal all over right. the floor. Right. But something I've noticed is if I clean, mostly just on the few days that they're gone, if I clean, 
the whole yeah. rest of my day. I'm like, oh, because otherwise I'm thinking, oh no, I have to go home yeah. to this house. There's yeah. toys on the ground, there's crumbs, there's everything. Everything, like this mm -hmm. crumbs here that I'm just noticing from last night, that yeah. they're stressing me out because you're here. Right. Oh, that's I stressing know. me See, out. See, and I'm used to, it's, that's yeah. really stressing me out right now. But yeah, no, mm. and just having that done, even, or like at the end of my night doing it, so that when I wake up in the morning, it's like, okay, that's I'm not a heavy thing on me, I just. I'm too tired at night. Go though. into my day. I crash, I finish yeah, work I about seven and I just crash. Oh. Well, you get up really early too. I feel like you get up around five, yeah? Five. Sometimes around four thirty. Sometimes four thirty. Because mm -hmm. I have agents texting me at I six. In today. Renee. You did? Yeah. I woke up around five thirty and I almost got up and was like, I'm just gonna go grocery shopping. I do need to do that because who knows you when that's kids. gonna be sold you don't have out. Any kids right now, do you? Well shoot, I was just worried about people going crazy on food as they have for toilet paper. So, I do need to go grocery shopping today. Hold me to that, you guys. I'm going to do it. Okay. At some point. Instacart? Uh-uh. No, but I'm just, I don't want to pay extra for food. I know, food. Instacart. Instacart. Because I'm like, I could do it know. myself. I went to my store. I hate, I hate Walmart. I do, too. I, I had to go there to place. get a couple air mattresses from my, or my uh, stager yesterday. I'm standing in line, and I'm just like, place. I just went out here. I feel like I'm going to get you guys didn't she just that said that. <laughs> I don't think they like me. I do not like that. And I had to go because Libby, for part of her birthday present, wanted a box load of scotch tape. Because mm. she's always oh making Oh my things. gosh, I did that for my son one year yep. too. Because he loves tape. Yep. I got her a, dis a tape dispenser and, and she 15 loved rolls. It. She was like, she opened yeah. the bag, you know. She's like, oh my gosh. We did and that um, my son. I went there and uh, it's, it's just. Insane? Yeah. It was insane. Yeah. Oh, and they're rude too. So I'm standing in line with these air mattresses. They're heavy and I don't have a cart because I'm stubborn. And so I put them down on the thing and then she calls and she says, Brie, can you pick up another bed set? And I'm like, I'm just waiting through that whole line. Okay. And I said, hey, can you, would you mind putting this to the side for me? And I was like, <laughs> she Ooh. threw them at you. No, she like put him to the side all roughly and I was like, oh boy. Just the whole vibe of everything here is different. Target, they ask you how your day was. <laughs> yeah, and you just them and go, you really don't care how my day was. No. Well, let me tell you how my day was. Right. Just unload like, on them. I have, have you, I have learned that if you meet someone or you're talking to someone that you know when you ask them how was your day, you're going to get the, well, my, oh my god. You don't ask sometimes them how was your day, just, just let them know. Yeah, but sometimes you don't want to listen to them, let it go. <laughs> Depending yeah. on who it is. If it's it a does. friend, it's different. So I have learned to say, instead of going, hey, how are you? Just go, hi. Oh, you just short and sweet. Hi. Nice to see you. Yeah, and That's like, don't ask them. Them. Yeah, yeah, don't ask them. Uh, quite, oh, somebody did that to me. Oh, she's on here. Never mind. Oh. Oh. The other day, that know. is, yep. yeah, that's Skipping always over. <laughs> But the girl that I ended, up, I ended up asking her um, where their umbrellas were in Walmart. She was one of those shoppers, you know the the shoppers that go around doing the orders for people, the online orders. Oh. And she came into work yesterday, and she says that our workload has doubled because of the coronavirus. And instead of having like thirty two hundred orders just in that one Walmart. 3,200 orders for the day, they had 6,450 or something. I went 6,400 orders? 6,400 orders. They're gonna be all out of food, y'all. I need to get, I need to get I'm going to the grocery store, up. bye. <laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> I clearly haven't stocked up because um, I just don't take the whole coronavirus seriously. No, I don't I'm take not. the coronavirus seriously, but I take the crazy people seriously. And they've already, Got you where you don't have toilet paper, right? Well, I'm, you had to I'm, buy bamboo toilet paper. Well, I'm like, stockpiling. No, I'm not stockpiling the toilet paper. I'm panicking about getting it simply because I just want well, to have toilet right. paper in the house, not so because I want to uh, prepare for the zombie apocalypse. Why two K? Oh God! See, similar thing, right? Same thing, exact same thing. I know my parents did it, and we had water for like the next year. <laughs> well, I, I don't. I don't know why people just don't go out and buy a filter. Yeah, a Brita filter. Buy washable bottles, flasks, fill your water up, off you go to school. Mm 
does the coronavirus going to affect our water? Is it going to affect our water? Because you know all that bottled water you buy in the grocery store? 60% of it is just <laughs> tap water. <laughs> right? Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's just that people think it's this awesome water. They got it out of a faucet in Arrowhead, so it's different. You have to have a what? I said they got it out of a faucet in Arrowhead. So it's oh, right, because it's better different. Yeah, because it's better tap water, so it doesn't have any chemicals in it. That's only Arrowhead water, though. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. And that water tastes nasty. Fight me if you disagree, because that water is disgusting. It does, because it comes from above with all the rain and all the smoke pollution. Not the rain, the smoke pollution. Yeah. It's filled from the skies. It gathers all the toxins from the air. Wow, this is really... Okay. Very super so positive. <laughs> back to the food thing. Oh, the food that thing. Was what, that was my concern, is what happens if people go and they're like, oh, well, we're going to buy everything. And then all the stores are shut down, and here I am with no food and three kids. Right, I'll have what to do we do? chubby one first. It'll be... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, did you just say that? And you talk about, you talk about, you about me <laughs> hanging my kids from a tree? <laughs> oh my god. It sounds worse I, than what oh, she means. <laughs> I will never forget because we, when I was growing up, we would say this in Ireland. If, if somebody had a baby, mm -hmm. we would look at the baby and it was so cute. You would go, oh, it tastes so good at the barbecue. Oh, because it was so cute and so yummy. We just we say we want to that. bite their cheeks and I, eat their toes. I said, get on the barbecue. And I said <laughs> that to someone <laughs> here a few years ago. And I did not get the reaction <laughs> that I was expecting. They're like, oh, is oh. she a kid? Yeah. <laughs> What's going it's on like, here? keep the crazy British girl away. But um, it's humor. It's my sarcastic, dry, That's what I warped sense of humor. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Oh, okay. So yeah, I've learned to, to not ask people if they have any crack. Hi Rose. Conversation. Rose Branch. Hey Rose. Renee's hey. back on again. Hi everyone. So yeah, it's um, it's one of the things I'm lo looking forward to about right, my diary. Alright, so enough of the doom and gloom. It's gloomy gloom enough. It's gloomy enough outside. What else do we have to talk about, Pam? Well, you know, I really would love for people to interact. Oh, and do you ask. guys want to interact with us? But, oh, sorry. Hey Larry. Okay, Larry. Are you still there? Wave at it. Larry. No, Larry. No, 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 no. Oh, I thought you were to I mean, tap the wave button. There you go. Okay. It, I think it'll notify him. Yeah. yeah. If he's Maybe. watching, he's not lasering something. Is it with people working all the time? Oh, God, I have so much to do. I'm really excited, actually. One of my very good clients, I've worked with her for years, her husband um, is now a realtor, too. So I'm going to start the team thingy. And I'm doing their lifestyle photos after this. We're gonna to go to a model home and and do their lifestyle photos. Yeah. What exactly is a lifestyle photograph? Just showing them in their normal way. Yeah, we're kind of showing them in an environment that um, represents what they do for them. They're realtors, so being in a model home like that, just nice decor and everything behind them, it goes with what they'll be trying to market. So you, for you, we would just put you in front of a computer screen with 17 phones all around, around you, you, on one, one three doing all this, because that's the reality of your job, except for when you take breaks to do, you know, something like this. Hair and nails. Oh yeah, and that too, but that's on the weekend. That's on the weekend. Yeah, Could you, know, you imagine if someone were to do the lifestyle, like real lifestyle photographs oh. of us? <gasps> that's great. That is nothing that's great genius. about that. With our kids? I'm going to do it. Michelle? Ariel, who else do I have? Uh, Lindsay, one of you guys, call me, message me. They're my photographers, they do my family stuff. R um, um, roses? Huh? Rose is one of your photographers? No. No, I didn't call you. Oh, here, I um, have my finger. What are you doing? Oh, oh I'm, trying to see, <laughs> I'm trying to see the comments and I just got rid you of them. Just lost them. Oh my god, I completely got rid of them. Yeah, could you imagine that? People would just That would be amazing. It would, how, how do you figure that would be amazing? How do you figure anyone seeing what my mom life like is would be amazing? It would because be chaos. it would be real. Everyone's doing it. We're not the only ones. Even people that are married and all that or stay-at-home moms, they're pulling their hairs out. Oh, yeah, we're not the only ones. Yeah. So we're it would help you. Ones. It's being relatable and being real. Not posed all nicely in the grass. Oh, look at us having a lovely picnic with these flowers. As dinner proves, something we never really do. No, no one does that. 
it looks pretty to put on the wall, but I'm, shoot, I, I would frame something if it was like Oliver getting into the fridge and me with a piled up sink of dishes. Yeah, you're not going into my kitchen right now. And then his head's been like standing back there with a roll of tape and, and Addie crying because Wrapping he's, just, Addie. he's just been <laughs> taping her up. Yeah. I love it. Love it. That's it. Um, yeah, because my, so Larry Landau from Lightning Laser Cuts um, did for me a photo frame for my mom when I go back to Ireland. Yeah. And on the bottom it says Pam's Chaos. <laughs> So it's I want to have a photo of the three kids in there that's kind of like a really wacky, funny photograph, yeah. which my mom probably won't find very funny, but I'm going to find <laughs> hilarious. Um, so I want to get something really wacky and funny. Yeah, it's funny. It's, it's my life. You just sit them on the couch together for five minutes, I guarantee we'll get something funny. Oh, they'll be slapping each other. And, See, there you go. And then that's Emily will be sitting there on her phone yelling at them. If you could just get sound in a photograph, um, it would be wonderful. Mm. That would be really Might great. I need a different frame for that. Larry! <laughs> Work on it. Yeah, Larry! <laughs> Can you we go have... with your comments, girl. I don't know how to get my comments back. Like that. Oh! Did Larry say oh, anything? Someone said something about a pain in the neck. Did we that was that? Renee. Renee oh. said, are you calling me a pain in the neck? Okay. There you go. There's some text coming through, but I'm just going to... Oh, sorry, guys. Hi, Renee. How are you? I haven't seen hey, her. Hey, Alan. Long. From we have, I, hey, we were Antonio. supposed to go and hang Maggie. out on the beach together. Today? Me and this Renee. My Renee. Not your Renee. Today? Sorry. You're very cool, Renee, I'm sure. But this Renee. No, not today. We've actually had these plans for... Uh, I think this is the second year... We're supposed to go to the beach. That's it. Just go to the beach. It's really hard to make plans. Well, why don't you just go to the beach tomorrow? <clears throat> I actually went yesterday. It was pouring. I, I had a oh, shoot in shoot. Santee, and so I went by Del Mar first. Because that's on the way. <laughs> that's nowhere near Santee. <laughs> no. You came from Temecula to Del Mar back out to Santee. Well, there's, Who does there's that? reasons. So, oh. um... It was, it was pouring on the way down there. Oh my gosh. I honestly, I'm a very confident driver. I spend a lot of hours on the road. I've actually driven 40,000 miles in the last eight months. I haven't. Which is, no, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm making up for you. That's You're tough for you not driving. Yeah. yeah. Which, well, it's not good when you have a, a newish car, you know? That's true. You're, that's a lot of miles. Oh, I think I might be getting Well, that's when you go to Lancaster. To do a photo shoot. Oh, I don't want to talk about that day. Right, Antonio? That was, bad day. That was almost as bad as the Blythe day. <laughs> no, there's nothing as bad as the Blythe oh, day. Was unless nice. Antonio was with you and there's something <laughs> you didn't tell us. <laughs> Thankfully, he was not. <laughs> he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have been too happy if he was either. Okay, so anyway, so it was raining so hard that you couldn't see the car in front of you and they're like a car length in front of you. There yeah, was so was much being bad. stirred up from everyone and the rain was just windshield wipers going like this, but it's not fast enough because it's still just, I almost pulled over, but now I just kept going. You should have done the live. And I made it. <laughs> that would have been really safe. Yeah. Oh, you didn't have to right You could just look at the side of your face the whole time. <laughs> yeah. That would have been interesting. <laughs> 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 you could have heard a few choice words <laughs> coming out. <laughs> oh, yeah, there were. <clears throat> anyway, so then after that, I get down to Del Mar and my stager, Nancy, calls. Mm -hmm. It's her birthday, so I felt bad that she had to work, number one. But two, she's... I, we all work on our birthdays, it's right. real. I don't remember the last birthday I had off. But she was really, like, she's having, like, an anxiety attack because of the rain. And she's, you know, got a truck and a trailer and all this stuff with all her staging stuff. And I was like, just stick with it, just stick with it. She did, and oh my gosh, afterwards... By the time we finished, because I went early and I kind of helped them put the rest of the stuff together, um, by the time we finished, the rain had stopped, the sun was coming out, and it was perfect. And then you shot that one? And I shot that one. Because mm -hmm. Brie does I'll be staging posting as well. Some photos. You do staging also? Yeah. Do you do virtual staging? I do virtual staging, yeah. So for people that. Blah, blah. 
<laughs> for people that don't want to do like actual staging, because it can get pretty costly depending on how long you keep it there. Um, if they just want it for the photos to get people in and give them an idea, you do that. You do the virtual staging as well. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. I've yeah. seen that done and it's why I'm looking at the photograph and I can't tell whether it's yeah, no, real or not. And then sometimes you can tell because they look very cartoonish. The, the company that I use does a very good job now. Wow. Yeah. She does they that even, too. I noticed the other day, because a lot of times I'm like, oh yeah, that looks nice, you know, after I get them back and then I send them off to the realtors. Well, I noticed the other day, they even took the time to take into consideration the way the sun was coming in so that the shadow was going in the right direction. Oh, wow. <clears throat> they don't just place it there. Like, they make sure all the effects from the lighting and make it natural. Yeah. So the couch shadow doesn't go this way and the long <laughs> shadow doesn't go that way. Right. And they're like, but the window, always, the window's right there. <laughs> and the drapes are closed. <laughs> yeah, no. No, it's really cool. Oh, well, we have to think of every stupid comment that we do. <laughs> we wouldn't oh, be us if we did it. So okay, guys, what do you up? have to talk about? Oh. Oh, she was showing homes. Yeah, it was pretty wild. There. And then, of course, as I'm leaving Del Mar to head out to Santee, we get a notification. What are you doing? I'm just trying to scroll up to... that there's flash flood okay, warnings. Okay. You didn't get it swiped back. <laughs> oh, God. Swipe at the bottom. I'm sure. Not that far. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. It's okay. There. Oh, you did it. You got to swipe like where the comments normally are. Hey, um, hi. Okay. okay, we're back. We're back. We're back at the right angle. Wait well, a weekly. I'm Bree Hunter yes. with BH, BHP and Company, actually. No, yeah. Oh, BHP and I'm oh, Pamela. Fancy. I'm Pamela, <laughs> transaction coordinator. <laughs> TC with me. <laughs> TC with me. <gasps> oh, where are our. Hmm. Did you have it on you? Yeah. So, Larry Landau, once again, with Lightning Laser Cuts, which Man, is all these clips Lightning, L-I-G-H-T-N-I-N-G, laser, really L-A-S-E-R, cool. cuts.com. Lasers anything, he'll laser logos and everything, anything on pretty much any material. And he also does all these wood cutouts. So he did these for us, all in. Hashtag all in. I don't know if that's showing correctly for them. It's showing correctly for us. I know, I'm not quite sure which way it goes. Hashtag all in, because it's one of our things, yeah? Do it both ways. Hashtag just do real estate. They're just fun little things to use in your marketing. So if anyone wants something yeah, like we this. we photograph them everywhere we go. Oh, yeah, and this one. I'm taking mine to Ireland with me. I'm taking mine everywhere with me, too. This is my coming to purse with me. And we even got one for us. I feel like it's, it should be this way, which is weird. Does I'm going to go sense? grab my one. Hold on. See, we did it weekly. What? I'm so excited. <sighs> So we've got these for us, and then I'm having him make some for my clients too. So that'll be a fun little, you know, just something different to do for people. In the meantime, here I am alone. I know, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> what do you have? <gasps> Did you break it? Yep. She broke her wing in it weekly. I broke it, I broke it. It's okay, so got mine. <sighs> Uh-oh. <laughs> so guys, how has your week been? Enough about us. Nothing, huh? Okay. Get nothing here. Okay, I'm back. Damn. Can you imagine going live alone? Oh, I don't know. No, do I'm looking for. Whilst we're doing this, no I'm going to talk to you. Rumble through my. I don't really have any videos. Videos. You know, maybe we should do a makeup tutorial. <laughs> That's good. That's what people do. Here's my other one. See, but it shows backwards there. I think you have to do it. Which is TC. weird. TC. With me. Hashtag TC with me. Thank you, Larry. And then he also made this for me. Which is a name badge. Pamela TC. And it says Chaos Coordinator on it. So Does it really? Yeah. And I it's love it. Magnetized on the back. Yeah. Yeah. See so if you ever fall off a cliff. You can just somebody can reach that down to because you know that's yeah, gonna yeah. happen. You just hold on to the yeah. key. <laughs> well, you're going to Ireland. I heard there's cliffs there. There are there are cliffs in Ireland. Are you gonna well, go there? Am I gonna go where? To the cliffs. What cliffs are you talking about? I don't know. The ones in the movies. The ones where it's like 
green and then cliffs and then ocean. Yeah, that's all over Ireland. If they're white, yeah. If they're white There's cliffs, white ones. That's yeah, the white like cliffs of Dover. Is that far it's from the right stone? That's in England. Oh, I knew that. Dover, <laughs> right? Is it England? <laughs> yeah, it's not in Ireland. Well, wait a second. Yeah. Can't you say you're like British, right? Because you grew up there. Yeah. there. In Belfast, there's what's called the Cave Hills. And that's big hills with caves, like literally has caves in it. So I've never you, been before. Did you post that the other day? I sure did. Oh, I was looking through all the pictures you posted. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, I am so envious. You have no idea. Yeah. Well, I have to work while I'm there as well. I I have someone who's taken over my desk here, but I have to work. Um, so it's much prettier place to work though. From five o'clock at night to one o'clock in the morning, California oh. hours. Yeah. So that's called. What I do, you do what you do, you just do it. I do, of course. You do, you just do it. And so Brie and I are going to be going, we're going to be doing Winging It Weekly with a split screen. Right? We are. Yeah, we just, just need to figure what? it out. You know what I also feel? Yes, we are going out, to, we're all going out for, for dinner, Alan. We are. We a few times. came across this app recently that has the ability to do a live with a green screen behind you. So if they could do that, oh. of course we can split screen somehow. I think you can split screen. I remember seeing it somewhere. You can because right now live, we can bring someone in on camera with us. So one of us can go live and then you bring us in, we bring the other one in on camera. How do you do that? I don't know, it's on there somewhere, but you can do it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. That would be kind of cool to bring somebody in live right now. I think you just invite people to watch. No, there's, well, you can bring them in live. Like, Oops. Sorry about that. Getting all bouncy. Okay, if you say so. And you don't know how. Oh, I can do it. Find out. You can do it, though. You can bring somebody in live. Yeah. And, um, and then I'm also going to be um, interviewing realtors over there live. I'm going to do some interviews over there with some, because it's different, it's very, it's different, different pay structure, that's for sure. <clears throat> um, How's that? I don't know what it is right now, but realtors used to get a flat fee paycheck every week, and it was, it used to be that saying you were a realtor was nothing to brag about, because mm -hmm. the earnings, this is going back, I don't know, it's probably totally different now, but going way back, um, it was never something to brag about if you were a realtor over there. So when I used to go back... Well, if everyone here brags. <laughs> right. Well, if you're they don't even have to brag. They just I'm show pictures of their cars and houses. That's it. That is so true. That is very true. But um, when I would go home, after I got into real estate, and say that I was in real estate and I was a realtor, people would be like, oh. Hmm. Oh. Poor thing. But, so I don't know what it's like now, but I thought it would be really interesting to interview some realtors and find out the differences between so real estate there and here. So what's the incentive to sell more homes if you get paid the same? I don't know whether they get a commission on the side. I'm not sure. I, I actually don't know, but I'm kind of thinking it may be different now. They may charge, each realtor may get a split of the commission. I'm not sure. Oh, I do. I'm not sure. I have something else that I wanted to talk about. Something to bring up that might Hi, Judah. Be... Hi, Glenn. Hey Glenn, we'll see you whenever I get back there. <laughs> well, you know, that's still let me on the plane. Mm. If they don't. So really quick, something about the coronavirus that I actually, we talked about it last night in the mastermind, and then I was talking to a realtor after, and he had the same thing. He had a seller that came to him and said, this is going on, what do you think? Because, you know, if you are a, an expert in one field, they assume you're an expert in all in fields. In all, all fields, including health. But he's like, he didn't know. He didn't know what to say. Do you know, does he give him false hope? Or does he scare him and then lose it? Right. Um, and so my suggestion, suggestion to him, which was what, you know, um, Antonio talked about last night, it's just, well, we all talked about it. Yeah. Get information from your loan officers, from, you know, insurance, whoever you know. Um, get okay. information from them that'll give people the confidence to stay with their transaction because they're coming to you yeah. because they, they need that, so. Well, because everyone's listening to their friends go off the deep end about, oh my gosh, doom and gloom, um, mm -hmm. everybody's going to die and get all these diseases, or this disease, and um, they're running off the emotions versus running off the facts right. of what it's gonna do. Be proactive, not reactive. That's what we talked about, be proactive versus reactive. Yeah. Yeah, very much so. Very, well, it was a fun so. little tidbit that I figured we'd leave them on. Yeah, thank you. This 
And this hour went really fast. I think it really fast. This is my lunch hour. Early. I've been up since five. Oh. So this is technically my time. time. <laughs> I haven't eaten yet. No, I'm starving. I have not eaten. All right, you guys. Well, it was okay. great hanging out yeah. with Absolutely. Pam because you guys aren't talking to us today. That's okay. I know. We so love people just like to We're not a zoo. We are kind of a zoo. I guess if you just want to come and watch, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> our, our life can be a bit of a zoo. What about, no, my life is a zoo. Never mind. My personal life is a zoo. Definitely. Proactive, not panicking. Exactly. Hey, Kelly. What does she say? It's not proactive. Yes, exactly. That's not panic. I agree wholeheartedly. Well, everyone, have an amazing, I was going to say have an amazing week. Have an amazing weekend. Get ready for an amazing week. Yeah. To join us again in our mad update of life. And our silliness. Next our, Friday at 10.30. Our our our, well, yeah, and we're going to put it on YouTube, here. which I have to yeah. send on the other one. Yeah. Oh, how did, did you create the YouTube for us? You remember how I said I don't ever procrastinate? Did you see what, did you see what I sent you the other night? I do. No, what? Did you do it? No. Oh. <laughs> so we did, really quickly, we did a podcast with Mike Sheehan oh. last week. Yeah. And um, we talked about topics that probably shouldn't have talked about, but we talked about everything. And one of the things on that podcast, Bree said she was going to do a YouTube account for Winging It Weekly. I did. I took on that responsibility. So I hadn't heard from you. I didn't say when. Well, I hadn't heard from you. So the other night, so I went back on that podcast. Did you say and I clipped? Oh my god! <laughs> I clipped the part. I even turned it into black it? and white so that it would draw your attention to it. Oh, I'll yeah. find it for you. <laughs> I'll resend it. I didn't. I, I did. didn't watch it. If it came through, I must have missed it. I will. I'm going to read it. So I was yeah. just thought it was funny. I just thought it was like because you know when I did that was like one o'clock at night. What, in the morning. I, yeah, in the morning when I can't sleep, and I thought, you know what, I'm so bored right now, That's not. Funny. You know what you could have done instead of that? Started one. You <laughs> <laughs> done the YouTube channel. But you know why I didn't do it is because I didn't know, number one, if you had done it, and number two, I didn't want to step on your toes by jumping that. the gun. So I just left and thought, I'll just send I will do it. I will do You're free tomorrow. I'm actually free for a bit today, you know? Oh, there you go then. Yeah. I'm I've got one house, um, <laughs> but most people are trying to wait for the rain to go away right yeah same 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 so same. okay everyone have a great day yes have, have a great, great weekend party. i've got work she's i have work. work i'm working i'm doing a podcast you guys have work six. get off of facebook what yeah get off doing? facebook why do you think you're watching us <laughs> anyway right. have a nice friday life is good bye life is amazing